What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I'm gonna to take you along step by step as I build a pillow chest, or I guess you could call it a blanket chest. Does your wife or your girlfriend make your bed look like this every day? Well, it looks nice, but where the heck do you put those pillows when you're going to sleep? So I did some internet searching and couldn't find exactly what I wanted as far as kind of a basic plan for this. So I, I settled on this particular build by uh, Jay. Hopefully he doesn't mind me pimping out his site. But it's basically a blanket chest. It's much smaller, so I needed to modify it to fit my, my goals. What I was wanting to build was something to sit at the foot of the bed. So it needed to be as wide as my bed was. So this is what I ended up building. Now without further ado, I'll take you step by step through how I did it. Okay, I've got it, gotten started cutting these. Um, what I did was I started out with two by sixes and then we're ripping them uh, on the table saw down to two and a half inches wide for the various lengths. So I'm using the, uh, the miter saw to cut, cut them to length and then coming over here and ripping them to two and a half inches wide for each of the styles and each of the pieces along the, the way. Now that I have all of the wood cut all over here, just kind of laid out in lengths, um, I'm going to use a Craig jig to drill pocket holes into, uh, basically it puts a little uh, hole right here at an angle so that I can send a screw through the side here and into another piece of wood on the end. So, and all of this will be covered later on by the inside uh, piece, which is going to be made of this quarter inch plywood. Uh, this will form the inside. So it doesn't need to be structurally uh, very strong on the inside because uh, the frame takes care of that part. But uh, this will hide the pocket holes so that you won't ever be able to see it. Okay, next we need to take these pieces and start assembling them. Um, so here's how they, they go. Uh, you're going to need to put some more pocket holes in the side of the end pieces. And then they go into these long side pieces or lengthwise pieces. Just like that. And you can see that I used some, some wood glue. Just a good idea to give it some extra strength. So. Go ahead and screw all those together, and then you can see that I kind of left uh, these these styles open because I didn't know exactly. Since I'm modifying the design, I didn't know exactly how far apart I wanted to put them. But uh, once you get those in, it's really going to give it some more structural rigidity. Right now, it's a little wobbly, obviously. Um, so, and then you know, obviously, the boards going on the inside will help a little bit as well with that. The next thing I'm going to do, since we modified these plans, and this thing is almost twice as long as, as the plans, um, I'm going to put some, I've got some scrap pieces here of some 3 quarter inch plywood, and then some one by stock here. I'm going to cut four slats to go across the bottom to support the weight of the bottom piece. Uh, the plans aren't super clear on how that attaches anyway so this is this is how I'm going to do it you can do it however you want uh, but basically I'm going to cut them this 20 20 inches across for me unless you've modified that dimension I'm gonna put one right there on the end a couple in the middle and then another on this end that way and then I'll pocket hole screw them into these these side pieces it'll give it a much more strong uh, on the bottom a lot more strength and it'll also like I said give something for the weight to rest on of this of this long long bottom piece okay so again the plans don't really tell you how to attach this base piece um, so I just kinda figured it out for myself I put it an inch and three quarters down from the top of this to the edge of this and then screwed it in from behind uh, I was also used, I didn't miter this edge because none of the other edges are mitered and it didn't really make any sense to do that. Just an extra step. Uh, and uh, so anyway, I just did it this way. And, uh, and then I put a, a pocket hole on the inside on the bottom there to flush up this corner. And anyway, that's pretty much it. And I put a bunch of screws in all the way across as you can see to hold it all together keep it level with the ground 
took some doing, some playing, uh, but but it's all level and, and good. So now it's time to figure out how I'm gonna do these styles all the way across and then on the sides. There's gonna be two styles once again on each end. And then I haven't figured out exactly how many. I've got a whole bunch cut, but uh, I'll figure out how many I'm gonna put on each side, on the front and back anyway. Okay, so we're putting all of these styles along the sides and the ends. And it worked out to um, every six and a half inches roughly on along the front and the back. And it was about three inches or so between those on the side pieces. So next we need to cut this underlayment or uh, quarter inch um, plywood, whatever you've gotten. Uh, we need to cut it to, uh, the inside for me is 20 inches and then it's 75 and about 3 8 long. So we need to cut that, that's going to be the bottom piece. And then we obviously need to cut the sides and the end pieces. So take careful measurements. I was only about an eighth of an inch out of square so that I did pretty good on keeping everything square but make sure that you take careful measurements so that you can piece this all together properly when you're done. All right, so next we need to glue down the bottom. So I grabbed some, some heavy objects. Uh, I put the, the bottom piece down inside there. It's a very snug fit. And to make sure that it didn't curl up at all, I put a couple small finish nails in the corners along the, the sides and along the, the cross pieces underneath. And then I glued down over the cross pieces. And then obviously the, these weights are pushing down to make sure we get as good a connection to the glue as possible. So I'm gonna let that dry. And then we're gonna work on the, the other side pieces. Okay, for the lid, I've got two one by 12 by eight foot boards that I need to cut to length and then I'm going to glue them and pocket hole screw them together to make a 24 by uh, it's about 78 inches long. Um, I went to the store, obviously you could use plywood for this but then you'd have the edge problem along the side so you'd either have to do edge, edge banding on the side which I'm not great at or you know you can get something like this which is doesn't have a an ugly side to it. So after letting a few things dry overnight, uh, we're back and about halfway done with the uh, process of getting these these uh, plywood or underlayment pieces in to form the box, but it looks pretty good. So we just need to get these two end pieces and this side piece, and then we'll make the frame. Now this is what I wanted to talk about. Uh, we're going to depart a little bit from the plans because the plans don't really specify how to do the lid. Um, there's pictures of how the author did it, but he obviously didn't do it the same way that he had in the plans. So instead of building a frame and then putting some underlayment in it somehow with, you know, with a router or or something like that, which wouldn't really be strong either, um, we. You know, like we talked about last night, we did the board, glued it, and put the pocket holes in to hold it. So that's dry, and that's good now. Uh, but anyway, so underneath it, though, I'm going to do this frame. Uh, and I, I can't, haven't decided whether I'm going to do um, the mitered edges or not, the 45-degree the angles, or whether just to keep it, keep it the same as this. But uh, anyway, that's the, that's the plan, is to put a frame, like a box frame on top, and then the lid goes on, and the, the hinges will attach to the frame. Okay, so this is gluing up on this last piece on the side here. Everything's uh, been nailed, nailed in, you can see. And then I put weights on it to try to hold it down so that the, the glue would adhere so there's not a huge gap. There's a, a little bit of a gap in a couple of these, but tried to get it to snug up as much as possible. So the last thing we have to do, and I decided I'm just going to do a, a square frame with the long pieces and then thin pieces in the middle instead of mitering at a 45 degree angle. There's nothing else on this thing that's mitered, so kind of keeping with that theme. I'm just going to cut these off at 78 and a quarter, um, measure and cut the 
the middle pieces and then use uh, pocket holes to attach them together and then attach them down to this uh, as a frame around the outside um, sticking out just a little bit just like this is on the on the bottom so it's measured to mirror this piece okay we've got the top piece cut so the last thing that we're going to do is sand sand it all smooth so that you so that you don't see this line as much and at least there's not a you know uneven surface there and then we're going to take some some hinges and attach the lid to the this frame that we put on the top here okay it's done um, you're looking at the back side the hinges side and I'm gonna add two more hinges here in the middle that's gonna kind of pull this bow down a little bit on the back the front sits pretty flush but uh, you know keep that in mind when you're doing this uh, since I made mine so long it made it very difficult to find all one continuous piece that that was long enough and wide enough so uh, keep that in mind if you make yours really long like mine that you're going to need to uh, combine these boards together and they may warp a little bit so that was one thing that I learned to keep to keep an eye on but I think it looks pretty good I sanded the top really good and smooth um, and I'll sand the bottom parts and everything another time when I've got more time but that's pretty much finished other than uh, than stain and uh, clear coat. So anyway, that's, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, guys. For more furniture builds and other cool stuff, hit subscribe.